Let's solve this quadratic equation. Notice it is quadratic because of the y squared term. I will begin by writing it in standard form. I'll set it equal to 0. So that will be y squared minus 3y, then subtract 5 from both sides, so minus 5 is equal to 0. And now we're ready for the quadratic formula. Remember a in the quadratic formula is the coefficient of the squared variable, so a is 1. b is the coefficient of, in this case, y, so b is negative 3, and c is that constant negative 5. So y is equal to, by the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now let's put in our replacement values. That's minus, then b itself is negative 3, be careful right there, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative 3 quantity squared minus 4 times a is 1, and then times c, and that's negative 5, all over 2 times a, and a is 1. We just need to simplify this. This is the opposite of negative 3, which is 3, plus or minus the square root of, this is 9, and then because a negative times a negative is a positive, this is 9 plus 20, and 9 plus 20 is 29, all over 2 times 1, or 2. Now, is there any simplifying that can be done? The answer is no, because 29 is prime. There's no simplifying with the radical. And here are my two solutions for our original quadratic equation.